now to Iran. Uh, as far as I know, there's still not been an announced nuclear agreement with Iran. But under any such agreement, Iran will probably get a signing bonus of billions and billions of dollars. How do you expect Iran will use that signing bonus? Well, Senator, again, from the outside looking in, uh, there's two challenges they have. One is their economy internally and the, and the disaffection of the Iranian people as a result of that economy. And the other is that they use resources that they have available to uh, support their malign activity across the region. So you believe that at least part of that money can go to terrorist organizations they support, like Hezbollah, as well as to destabilize governments in the Middle East, like support for the Houthis in Yemen or Shiite militias in Iraq? Yes, Senator, I think it's reasonable to assume that. Does the United States have the military capability to destroy Iran's nuclear program? Uh, my understanding is that we do, Senator. When you've served in Iraq and Afghanistan, uh, do you know how many uh, soldiers, Marines, underneath your command were killed by Iranian activities? Uh, Senator, I, I know the total number uh, of uh, soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines that were killed by Iranian activities, and the number has been recently quoted as about 500. Uh, we weren't always able to attribute uh, the casualties that we had to, uh, to Iranian activity, although many times we suspected it was Iranian activity, even though we didn't necessarily have the forensics to support that. So, yeah, f about 500 confirmed, but many more suspected uh, killed in action and even more uh, wounded in action. Uh, you have a reputation for being particularly thoughtful when you deal with the families of fallen service members. What would you say to family members of a soldier, sailor, air, airman, or marine that was killed by Iranian activity if we make a nuclear agreement with Iran before they change their behavior in the region? Well, Senator, what, what I would say is that my expectation is that regardless of there being an agreement or not, Iran will continue to be a malign force and influence across the region. And then if confirmed as the chairman, I'll make sure that our leadership has a full range of military options to deal with Iranian activity.